Welcome back to Break Tech, guys. This is Doug. Uh, we're going to continue kind of where we left off with our last React project. Um, in the last React project, all we did really was uh, start a new uh, React project, and then we played around in the boilerplate a little bit. Um, and this one, we're going to start a new project. We're going to create um, a tic-tac-toe application. Um, if you want to check this out, you can see it on my website. It's uh, douglasburg.com slash react dash tic-tac-toe and let me just pull that up for you um, so this is the final result uh, I called it ugly tic-tac-toe I didn't put much time into the styling and that's something you can certainly do if you feel like you want to um, the way the game works is that you basically uh, X always goes first you start with a blank game board uh, and you can click uh, you know to place your moves and if uh, one player or the other wins let's see X is turn one player or the other wins you know you get a game over message and then you can reset the board and play again if you if you want to there's no AI or anything like that although um, if you check out my blog also at douglasburg.com you'll see that um, I am in the process of implementing an AI for it um, and it's actually probably gonna end up being a video series because it's, it's been a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be um, but this is what we're building in this project. So first things first, we need to start a new project using the um, React uh, Create React app uh, command line interface. So you can just open up your command line of choice. Uh, I use Git Bash on my Windows machine. Uh, go ahead and navigate to wherever you keep your projects. Uh, for me, I just have a folder on the desktop and all I've done here is change directories into that folder. Um, and then we can just go ahead and create react app and we'll call it tic tac toe give that just a minute to create our scaffolding and then we'll add the project all right welcome back um, we have uh, completed the scaffolding of our project um, the tool has done its job so now all we need to do is add that project folder into Atom um, and me it's in web projects tic-tac-toe so just add that whole folder and get rid of this um, blank document that I have here and then in order to start serving the development server so that we can actually work on this project and see what's going on we'll just type npm start I'm sorry we'll need to move into that directory go ahead and start the development server and then that should open up Chrome and navigate to localhost 3000 where you see that everything is working as intended we have our uh, boilerplate you know react app running alright from here let's see what we've got um, we've got index.js which is the entry point for our project um, and this we really don't need to change anything on this um, on this file this is this is pretty much standard across the board um, this is the uh, the first file that's loaded by our index.html and then everything else will be loaded from that yeah so index.js is our entry point and then um, react dom dot render is just going to inject the app component into the um, into the root ID which is this just this single div inside of our um, HTML document so what do we want to do to get started with our application so for our application pretty much everything is going to reside in our app.js file um, this will be the main component of our project and we can go ahead and remove most of this stuff um, we'll be redoing all of this So the scaffold you start with here, um, we're using React and Component, and if you haven't seen this syntax before, this the curly braces with the component inside is the same thing as saying, um, rather than using component by itself, um, we're, we're just specifying that we want it explicitly to be imported and to be basically its own thing, um, rather than being you know React.component, uh, which would give us the same result. 
And then the logo is just, uh, this is the SVG logo that the boilerplate project uses. We actually don't need that. And then we're importing app.css and the boilerplate is pretty cool because it allows you to just import CSS files into your project. Um, and this under underneath the hood, I guess this is all done by Webpack, but since um, we're using the CLI or the command line interface, we don't have to worry about setting up Webpack ourselves. Webpack is already set up for us. So since we have everything here I think we need, um, the CSS will end up basically doing ourselves as well. Um, we don't need this, this keyframe. Uh, we're not going to be animating a logo or anything. So I think most of this we can just nuke. Yeah, I actually think I, it can all go. I'll leave the text align center. I think that's something we probably would do anyway. Um, app test.js. I don't know if this is new. I don't remember seeing this before in my previous projects. It must be. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure actually what this file does. I'll have to. I'll have to look into that. Um, but I don't think we need it, so we can go ahead and move it. Uh, there's the fab icon which also we don't need but I don't have a specific one for this project so we might as well leave that one and then index.css is uh, sort of same thing it's just the CSS file for um, for our, our index.html so this kind of gives us a good starting point for our um, tic-tac-toe application kind of see what we have left on the page and there's nothing left. So I think we're ready to get started on our project so stick with me in the next video we'll go ahead and get started.